Because that's when that's for personality. I, I don't talk much. Yeah, that's true. Problem. This is I get the same. There's no people here, so I'm comfortable. You know. You didn't talk to me. I, I worked with you in ECW for two years. You never said anything to me. No, nothing to say. I know, right? <laughs> I used to think like, man, this guy hates me. I mean, I don't, I don't really like. Just go. This guy loves me. You don't say nothing. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, Sabu. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, back we were talking about how like reserved you are, um, and I was going, you know, but the one time that we did anything together was uh, you were wrestling Rhino, maybe yeah, I think it was Rhino, and you put me and Jack Victory on a table, and you like dropped the, dro like dropped us going through the table. No lie, first table I ever went through. Oh really? Do, does a lot of guys do a lot of guys tell you that like yeah. you were there first? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, um, I mean in different way, but. Uh, yeah, and I thought, oh, this could be the time that you uh, you talk to me. And in the back, I go, thank you. You go, for what? I go, put me through the table. You go, that's your job. <laughs> <laughs> they have every now and then a special match, death match. Mm -hmm. We do that every night, death match. And they got bigger and better, you know. And, and did you know that you wanted to work that style? Or no, is that something? it was something? accident. When we got booked here, I had no idea that was it. Mm -hmm. It was that. Um, when I was faced with my first barbed wire match, I tried really hard at it. So everybody thought that I loved it. Mm -hmm. And I had another barbed wire match. I tried really hard at it. They thought I loved it. Then I had a bunch of them that I told everybody, I don't love it, I just try hard at it. You put me in front of anything, I'll do my best. Now, it just so happens my best at barbed wire is better than most anybody else's at barbed wire. You know, and the, oh, the, the ring goes on fire. Uh, it, it's yeah. Got, yeah. Now, is that something that Onita thought of and then you guys... Yeah. What were you thinking when all of a sudden you're engulfed in flames? Th that ring is engulfed in flames. Was it get the hell out of there? Yeah, or? yeah, it got too hot. The, the, the deal was they said wait six or seven minutes for the flames to die down and then do high spots. And the uh, flames never died down, just got bigger and bigger. Right. And then the, the logo in the middle of the ring was melting on our hands. Um, now, around that time you come back, they turn Taz, you know. Um, and there, there's always that urban legend that you and Taz didn't like each other. True. Metro. Is it just because t two different personalities? No, he, he, he deserved, he thought he deserved everything I got. Mm -hmm. So when I came in, he, he tried to latch his wagon to me, and I don't know him, so why would I take him with me anywhere? Why right. would I stick my neck out for him?